Hello there, I'm Michael Ligivlin with FiddlerShop.com and this is a tutorial on the fourth violin part for the Wexford Carol, our 2022 Christmas group project. I've got my festive outfit on and I hope you will find something festive as well to wear. No, no pressure, you can, you can just wear whatever you have. Um, so I'm gonna play through it and talk through some of the pointers uh, to keep in mind so that we have a successful group project. Let's go. All right, so I've got a couple things to keep in mind. Uh, first of all, please use the click track and use like an earbud or headphones or something to isolate the click track so that we don't hear it in the recording. We just only want to hear your instrument. And we're also going to tune uh, to 440 so that we're all on the same page and we all sound beautiful together. Uh, when you film, we're going to try to, if you're filming on your phone, please film in landscape mode, not portrait mode. Um, but if you're using like a camera or like a digital camera or something, it probably will always look like that. Anyways. Um, all right. So this is a, this is a very sort of, a, there's a, it's a very gorgeous melody and it's a very long phrase. And so we want to try to keep, keep the phrasing and dynamic, uh, dynamics in mind. They should be printed there. Try to follow them. We really want it. This is a this first phrase is it's about like four measures. It really goes. It's da 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 dee da 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 dee da 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 dee da. It keeps going past. It don't fall into the trap of going da da da. Like and I know it's hard with that click track. Just kind of pounding away. It's not very musical, but we want it to kind of have a nice little arch of da. Da, dee, da, 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 da. And then there's a breath there at the end of the fourth measure. Ba, dee, da, dee, da, 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 dee, da, da. So um, try to keep that in mind, play some longer phrases. And so how we do that is you need to kind of grow through when you get these, when you finally get to like that quarter note in measure two. So we all have eighth notes. Keep going. So really use, start to use more bow on that quarter note. One, two. And that measure three should be the height of the phrase. So you're using a little more pressure, maybe a little closer to the bridge. Um, mostly just bow, more, a little bit more bow length. sort of, we, as we come down, we use a little less bow, 
mostly just a little bit farther away from the bridge, a little bit more over the fingerboard. If there's a little bit of space, that's okay. The singers would, you know, if you were singing this in a choir, you would take a breath here. And then this is the start of a new phrase. The new phrase always begins with this pickup. Bobby, so you don't go Bobby, da, da, da. So from, from the beginning, take a big breath. Body da -de -da -da. Okay, so that's the phrasing and dynamics. Uh, kind of the the tricky thing about this piece is sometimes it goes back and forth between F sharp and F natural. So a high two and a low two on the D string. Take a look at measure nine. This is probably this is nine, ten, and eleven are the weirdest, the strangest measures where a lot of things change all of a sudden. So the first thing is, all of a sudden we have F natural. Um, this is nine. Again, I use four here because I that keeps that keeps it on the D string. But there's no there's nothing wrong with playing open strings anywhere where you want to in, in this in this piece. So nine again. And that's B flat. Just it's a. You can really just block that, so you can play both strings at the same time without lifting and replacing. So just try to block that. And then here in measure 11, this is the first time that the rhythm is quarter note, eighth quarter, eighth. So it, it's it, it's very it's different. Kind of you know circle this or put a little something to make yourself uh, aware that the rhythm is different here. So I would recommend just put your instrument down for a second and either like sort of tap the beat and speak the rhythm. Uh, so from nine it goes dee da be da ba dee da da ba dee ba da ba da so it's, it's different. Um, or you could clap it or something, but you need to sort of understand it up here and in here uh, before you can pick up your instrument and, and do that. So uh, don't neglect those three measures. We are going to do the repeat. Oh, I was meant to say after, you know, then and then after 11 and 12, we go back to having F sharps, right? So this was 11. One, two. Open strings are fine, breath. Now we're back to F sharp. So keep an eye out for that. And again, follow the, the phrase, it, 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 it's tempting sometimes to decrescendo when really you should be continuing to crescendo. I sort of fell into that hole a little bit in 14 and 15. When we get after, we're gonna do the repeat, yeah. And then when you get to the last measure, it's okay if this sort of trails over just a little bit. You don't have to, you know, come to a, a, a halt right when the click track does. It's okay if it sort of just, if you sort of, one, two, just into nothing, into nothing. And you can sort of just hold there or have a nice little, And uh, leave some space in the in the recording um, so that we can all sort of fade out nicely. And if you want to wave or something at the end, that's great too. Um, just that makes editing easier for us at the end. All right, I think that's everything you need to know. Um, Monday, December fifth is sort of the deadline for uh, submitting. There's a Dropbox link. Dropbox link in the description box below uh, and it's on the Fiddler Man uh, website that has all the sheet music and click tracks and everything. I've got links for all that below. So thanks so much for taking part in this and playing along. We look forward to seeing you and uh, happy practicing. <laughs>